Well, moving on now, former Attorney General and Minister of Justice Kanu Agabi S.A.N. says Nigeria has yet to find the right leaders capable of propelling the country to greater heights. Agabi believes that until Nigerians wisely use their votes to elect qualified leaders and likewise use the ballot to prevent those whose sole interest is to divide and exploit the nation, the country will struggle to make meaningful progress. He shared these thoughts as the guest speaker at the 23rd Mike Okonkwo annual lecture in Lagos. Details now. I'd like to go straight into the chairman's opening remark. The Bishop Mike Okonkwo annual lecture, launched in 2000, has become a prominent platform for shaping government policies. By convening seasoned experts to discuss pressing national issues, the lecture series has steadily grown in influence. This year's edition is themed Nigeria's Pathways, Diagnoses and Prescriptions. The chairman of the event, Atedo Putuside, emphasizes that effective leaders inspire through both words and actions. But if the bulk of the nation is willing to embrace evil and hail whoever loots or embezzles money and goes home and you make him a hero and you turban him, then what exactly do you expect to have in the future? So I think there are lots of important things to take home. Don't dismiss it as saying he didn't come up with a magic wand. The guest speaker, Kanu Agabi S.A.N., takes the stage. He passionately urges Nigerians, regardless of their ethnic, religious or cultural differences, to see themselves as true brothers and sisters. We are better as we are, from east to west, from north to south. Ibos, Hausas, Yorubas, Fulanis, together. As they say, the shades and the lights make the perfect whole. Agabi, a former attorney general of the Federation, emphasizes that merit and quality, not nepotism and mediocrity, should determine Nigeria's leadership. He points out that Nigerians have a fundamental misunderstanding of democracy and the presidential system of government. We are indeed a new nation. We are experimenting with systems of government and laws that have been in operation in other nations for hundreds of years. We are trying to do things by ourselves. In doing so, we have often, we had to rely on people who are not qualified, who have no experience, and who are not sincere. Bishop Michael Kungo then addresses current national issues after awarding the winners of the annual essay competition with cash prizes and gifts. But, uh, and so it's very important, but the challenge the Nigerians are facing is that the government should be seen to have empathy with the masses through the way they themselves have cut down on their excesses. I mean, you can't be telling Nigerians, oh, things are hard, or the fuel price is increasing, electricity is increasing, everything is increasing, and then you will are uh, enjoying luxury. According to the bishop, developing Nigeria into the nation it deserves is the responsibility of everyone, not just political leaders. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.